Hello everyone, now I will start part 2 from the step 7 package installation. So to consist of the cover of the server, we need this kind of the packages. Okay, here we use pen. So after you, we, after we the check this kind of packages using this command, maybe if we don't have this kind of packages, just we can install this company using this command yum install like this. Okay, then let's check the here in the server system. So here let's check RPM. Let's create grab KLB5. Okay, here I have all, I already installed this kind of the packages. So in my case, I don't need to install. Maybe, but uh, if you don't have this kind of packages, just KLB5 server like this. You can install this kind of packages. Okay, in my case, I already installed. Just I will skip this process. Okay, uh, step eight: the KDC configuration. So if we are successful to install this kind of packages, now let's start the configuration of the covers first. This file etc klb5.com. This is the main configuration file. So here we need to configure this kind of the contents. For example, it's the random, it's the domain name, chal.com, and the random also this one. And the KDC will have the this IP address 192.168025 and port number admins of also the same ip address and port number 749 and the domain realm here change like this chart.com and server.chart.com clientchart.com will join to this the realm as a, a kind of the host and after that in this part we need to the add this line validate true it means login program will validate, should validate the KDC to protect the client system from fake KDC. Okay, number two, and after that, we need to make a covers database by using this command kdb5util create minus r, and here the Chal.com will be our rel and minus s. And uh, if we are successful to make this uh, database file, then here in this directory we can find this kind of file principle. And after that, in this directory, we need to configure kdc.com. So just here only change the, our rel and of that master key type default principle flag like this. Number four. KADM5ACL. ACL means the access control list. So, for example, here, this one, star, will be usual as a principal. Admin also, char, our .com is our realm, and star. It means this file consists of three parts principal, permission, target, principal. So, here, star, admin, char.com will be the principal, and the star. And star will mean is the permission stand target principle. It means allow any principle with the instance of the admin pool access the database. So this file normally can be the configured to control with administrative privileges available to which principle like this. Number five, and after that. We can add some principle to the database. For example, here root as administrator and the username Linux. And after that, we can use this command list principle to list all the principles. And one more command get principle Linux. This command will show the information about all principles. Number six, create kdmin kit file. And after that, after adding this kind of principle to the database file, we need to make kit file. Kit file will be a database file. So here, in my case, I will add this one and this one. Number seven, so now we add user, root, and Linux to the kit file. And number seven, 
also as well we need to add the host host servercharge.com and after that this one will be add the key that file here so host servercharge.com later uh, client child.com also will be joined or will be included this file and after that number eight start kdc daemon using this command service krb5 kdc start and the service kdmin start and uh, you can we can use the chk config to register this service to run levels and after the process checking like this and after that Port checking 88 for KDC, 749 for K admin. Number nine, the viewing kit file. I already told you the kit file is a database file, so we cannot see the internal contents of the kit file. So in this case, we can use KTUT like this. So RKT and of that, the kit file and the list, then this command will show the contents of this kit file. Number 10, coverless log file. Coverless log file can be three kinds. First, the default, krb5 library.org and the KDC, VAR log krb5 KDC. Administrator server, VAR log kadmin d log like this. Okay, then let's start the configuration here. First, Configuration file here. Okay, let's check the line number 14. So here, let's uh, change. And after that, uh, line number 21 or so char.com and uh, 22 okay okay let's check this file first line number seven default line will be char.com and the logo file here and line number 14 the realm is a child.com and kdc ip address and port number admin server ip address and port number default domain will be child.com and here line number 21 22 this one so our main the realm will be child.com and to this realm to host server child.com and client child.com will join to this the realm and uh, line number 31 here, validate true. Okay, let's uh, finish. Okay. And after that, please come this directory. So here, ACL first. Okay, here, let's uh, change our realm, chuhl.com. And after that, the uh, KDC come for here also. Uh, line number six here, shell.com, and the master key types here, and uh, one more line here, default principle plex. And uh, this one will be pre authentication. Okay, and after that, KDB util um, uh, create minus r char.com. Okay, in my case, my database master key. Okay. Okay, so now here, this kind of file is created because this one is a principle, this one is the database part of the covers. So now let's start the 
Coverless Configuration. Okay, here let's start adding first add plnc root admin and the password and okay m almost sing linux username okay okay and of that so now here, for example, root, this one, and Linux. Uh, this the principal add to the database file. Okay, then after that, let's make a kit that file. Coverers, KLV5, KLV5, KDC, and KADM5. Key tab and okay, admin admin okay and after that kt add minus k var coverers klv5 kdc and the kadm5 kadm5 and of that KID admin change password okay and uh, let's now add the host it's minus rent key host in my case uh, server dot char dot com Okay, now created this one host information, and after that, kt add plus ktc klv5 key tab host uh, server.com. Okay, so now let's just start service. KRB5 KDC start. Okay, and the service K admin start. Okay, then let's check the process. KRB5 KA and K admin. Okay, here we can find this kind of process and this process. Now let's check. Port number 88, okay, and 749. So here we can find 88 and 749. And almost uh, seeing KT util. So let's try to RKT. We are coverers KLB5. KDC KADM5 key tab and have that list. So here we can find this kind of information from key tab file. Okay, and after that, VAR low. So here we can find this kind of low. KAdmin and KLV5. Okay, let's check. So here now we can find this kind of log. Okay, control C. Okay, now go back to the step nine application server configuration. So now we are successful to start the cover as a server on the KDC. So next step is to configure application server. To configure application server, first, let's check this package, KLB5 workstation, and second, and second, from the client service, client server, we need to copy this file to client, from the server to client, like this. And after that, number two, K 
k admin minus p root admin. So even if I'm stay in the application server, using this command, I can access to kdc2 at principal, this one, host. And of that, make kitab file like this. And of that, number three, on both computers, client and server, we need to use this command, system config authentication. So here, just I uh, will select the cover system as an authentication system, like this. Okay, then now I'm successful. Now let's go to the client system, host name. Okay, so client system. So let's check the package first. KLV file. So here I found this one. KLV file workstation. Okay. Then. Okay, let's go to etc. SCP root. Server. Etc. KLB5.conf etc KLB5.conf So password So let's check Okay here So now In the client system I copy the coverer's main configuration file and after that let's Login to the Kerberos server. Okay, admin minus p. So in my case, password. Okay, now I access to Kerberos server. Server. So now here need to add host. Rand key host in my case client. Uh, client sorry, dot com. So now create it, and after that, let's uh, key the file klv five dot key tab and host the client sorry, dot com. Okay, now I'm successful to add this host information and after that system config authentication so here please check the authentication tab so here covers enable cover support first check this one configure so realm will be child.com and the kdc this one 8025 and the admin sub also port number like this okay Okay, in the sub also, system config authentication. So here, please check the authentication. Covers enable, covers support. So also this one, child.com and KDC and admin server, same. Okay, now I'm ready to use covers system. Step nine. Okay, now let's step 10, testing. So in this video, I will test two server, SSH server and Taylor server. To test SSH server in the application server, I will configure like this. And to use what to support the cover authentication on SSH, you need this one. GSS API authentication, yes. GSS API delegated credential, yes, two kind. But in my case, I will not use this one because of some testing. Later, I will show about this one. And after that, service SSHD restart. Testing on server. At first, I will use this command. After logging to the Linux user, KList, I already told you, to see or to list the key information or ticket information. So maybe the user does not have any ticket, then I can use this command. Okay, and have that SSH. 
Okay, tell it also. For the tell it testing, we need this file. KLB5, tell it. So after we often this one only change this one from yes to no, and of that, Xanity restart. This one is the same after login to K list, K any init. And for the tell testing here, uh, we use this option F, X, L, L means the username. Okay, then the, this one is a client system. Let's check the SSH. Okay, now SSH service is uh, working. And after that, the telnet. Okay, so here, this one, now the default setting is yes. So I will change this one. No, okay. And after that, service x i n a d restart. Okay, now I'm ready to use this kind of to the users. Okay, for the testing uh, here, I uh, will log into Linux user. Okay, so now let's check K list. So in my case, I don't have any ticket. Okay, test K list. In my case, right now I don't have any the key. So here, K init. So password. So let's check. So I got uh, this kind of the ticket from KDC and have that SSH Linux client. So now I'm successful to log in SSH server in client system without password because I have already the ticket from KDC. Okay, then Okay, let's check again. K list. So now I got a ticket from TGS for the application of SSH. So now let's uh, test uh, Tele username Linux Lion.com. dot com. So it makes also coverers accept and now I'm successful to log in the teller server without password using only ticket. Okay, let's check. So K okay, list. So I got another ticket like this. So um, the last the testing Okay, now let's start the packet capture using Wireshark. Okay, in my case, uh, in the client system, I will start the packet capture. So, interface start. Okay, here let's test. So, now this guy is a uh, Linux user and uh, let's check the key. Okay, then let's uh, delete and after that. So now I don't have any the key and after that let's start key ish. Okay, now so I got a ticket from the KDC and after that let's try to log into the SSH server Linux client yes so now I'm a successful to log in without password because of ticket okay again K list so I got a ticket from the KDC for application server SSH one more testing, telnet, telnet, username linux, client, okay, also I must successful to log in without password using only the key.
okay exit so k it so i got a ticket like this or k list minus k so in this case i can see the kit file like this also in the server system k list minus k so i can see the kit file like this okay then the let's just stop the tracky capture and after that apply okay here is uh, i can see the coverless packet first let's check uh, this one this one is uh, 8010 is a client system and 8025 is a coverless server so here at first the client request Okay, let's check the, what kind of information. So, when the client requests the package the, to the coverless server, normally client system send this kind of information. Okay, type timestamp here and the values, encryption time and the body. So here you can find this kind of information. This one also important. Okay, let's check this one. This one, 8025, is a KDC, is AS, and 8010 is a client. So, in this uh, process, the AS will issue the ticket. Okay, here, can you see this one ticket? So, inside the ticket, we can find this kind of information. Ticket button number, realm information, and the server name. In this case, now the Chardak realm. And KLB TGT in covers ticket granting ticket and uh, name this one and the encryption information like this so here we found the ticket and one more ticket let's check this one now the client system to server and uh, this one maybe when here maybe covers the client system will use okay let's check the what kind of information he is sending now especially relevant information and the valid time and the nonce and encryption this uh, encryption types and after that, okay, this one from the uh, TGS to client. So here we can find ticket also. Ticket also has this kind of information. The name now, the client child.com, the client system. And this client system will be the application server. So now this ticket will be used for application server by client. Okay, and uh, one more thing. Okay, let's test this one. 25. Also this one, there is a ticket information like this. So this one also usually will be the client, the chart.com folder. Is, uh, in my case now I use the, the SSH and Telet. This one will be the Telet application server. So if we use uh, this kind of the uh, wire shock, you can see the internal data using this kind of ticket. You can you can find this kind of ticket and the ticket button numbers. And the encryption information also and the body information and option information also encryption information also like this okay so far I explained about the packet capture using Wireshark okay here I will finish the covers set up thank you for uh, watching this video and uh, God bless you and see you again next video next video will be my SK thank you so much for watching this video